Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another gigantic over the top gun which is called the Anakatos PDS Planetary Defense System which is this glorious thing right here. So this utilizes the Atlas Super Laser to blast anyone who dares come close to your base and absolutely obliterate them. So this has quite a few moving parts on it and I've made sure that it's sticking out the ground so we can get a good look underneath it. But when you spawn it in you would have these little black rims around the edge there being under the ground hiding up all the important conveyors. So pressing F10 and finding the PDS in the spawn menu there it is. This thing is 4898 large blocks requiring the decorative block number one and number two DLC packs. It's got a few scripts on there and of course it uses the Atlas Super Laser mod. So what we're going to do is straight off the bat we're going to fire this because I'm sure that's what you all want to see. So coming around to here we've got a lovely little side sitting cockpit with a doorway which we can close behind us. A small cargo container for you to change your underwear if you needed it and we can get into our industrial cockpit. Finding our free camera I'm just going to come around sort of like that and bring up the HUD. So. Number one is to view our camera straight boys and is how we're going to control the barrel with our mouse script. Come out of that and come back into the third person. Number three will be to raise up the four pistons from the main body to give us some more control and make it much more safer to move the barrel around. And if I move my camera all the way up to here, this is where we're going to get the fun part. Pressing number two is going to deploy the barrel like that and the Atlas Super Laser is going to charge up. So the pink and black has been separated from the black and grey and white with a piston and the Atlas Super Laser sitting at the very front there is going to charge up and once it's fully charged it's going to launch his beam straight ahead annihilating any small critters that could be over there. And there we go. Lovely stuff. Very satisfying mod the Atlas Super Laser. But yes that is how it fires. Once it's all done it'll pack itself up and wait for you to fire it again. Now of course this is not intended for survival mode. You can build it in survival mode but powering it is going to be a bit of an issue so it's going to be best just to play around with it in creative. So let's start by having a very brief around and then we're going to spawn in some large ships and blast them with it. So coming over to here, this is our barrel, pink and black carbon fiber blocks. We've got some lights that go all the way from the end towards us with some lovely blue lights that go in a sequence from the back to the front. We can see our Atlas Super Laser sitting there being all proud. Then as we move along, we're going to see a lot of unused blocks that are purely there for decoration. So we've got some basic refineries there. We've got some remote control blocks that go all the way along purely for decoration with a ladder covering them up. We've got some spotlights that just face into a piston for decoration. Then as we move towards the back of the barrel, we've got ourselves a jump drive, once again purely there for decoration. Then coming around to the back of the barrel, we've got an artificial mass, we've got some more remote control blocks and some gyroscopes. And if I just come along the side of the barrel, you can see the rotors holding it in place. We've got a basic assembler sitting on the sides. As we move all the way along, got a lot of little pistons just holding it in place because that's how it's going to separate from the main body. Then if we come all the way around to this side, this is what we get. We get our rounded blocks there which is basically like a small little, I want to say a little charging station, small fake antenna block which does nothing, it's just there for a bit of fancy decoration because the cockpit's only on one side. And as we move down we can see our pistons which raise the cannon up and we can look underneath at the blue flashing lights going all the way along. So over on this part we got our warning blocks in the yellow and the black and a small little area for you to sit and perhaps do some repair work on the bottom of the gun if it ever took damage. Got some good use of these stairs and the rail blocks all the way around this bottom platform and there are plenty of ways for you to walk around. We do have some use of the atmospheric thrusters which are for turbine decoration so don't fall in there or you're going to get chewed up or nasty like. Yes, as we move away, we've got a lot of scaffolding type with the catwalks going all the way along. We've got some stairs that would come all the way to the ground, but I decided to raise it off the ground. So we can get a good look underneath at how the conveyors come all the way from the guns 
to the main body. And then on the end of these little pillars, we've got some Gatling turrets just to protect you from those pesky drones or any kind of land assault. Because the gun cannot aim down, because if it was able to aim down, you risk damaging the barrel. Then last but not least, we have this little walkway over here, which comes all the way along to this little end point right there. Nothing much going on with it, it's just there for you to walk around and do a small patrol route if you wanted to. It's moving around onto this side, it's basically the same. Very brief overview, I think you get the idea with this. It's much more enjoyable to download and play around with yourself, rather than hear me blab on about it. Right under there we've got a small wheel. So yes, that is basically it for the outside. Now it's time to spawn in a ship, and we're going to blast it. So, pressing F10, I want to get revenge on the Albatross ship. Here we go, we're just going to aim it forwards, that seems like it's in line. Might need to get into this camera. And we're going to fire the Atlas Super Laser, so it folds itself out. Such a nice little animation, so simplistic, yet it works so well for a big planetary defence cannon. The charging time seems a lot shorter now. There we go, that's some good stuff. We're going to turn it a bit, try and do some maximum damage to that thing. Ooh, that was good. So now let's come across and see what we did to it. Well, we ripped a hole straight through it. Look at that. And we did some major damage to the internals of this. I'm surprised it's still flying, actually. But it does look like it has lost some of the gyroscopes or even some of the thrusters at the back. So it is slowly floating away. So let's go and try it one more time. Then we'll spawn in a different ship. So let's come into that. We want to aim it a bit more down. We're going to fire it like so. Let's fire it just like this. We're going to charge up. Get that glorious sound. And then the peak beam will come flying out of it. Let's go for the front this time. Just going to aim it forwards a bit more. Take that invading ship! Oh, it's so satisfying. So many particle effects everywhere. That's it. It's going down. It is dead. Goodbye, Albatross ship. We hardly knew ye. And there we go. I spawned in a ball cube in the ground, so it'll be a station, not a ship. So now it's time for me to get into my character, come into this, realign the cannon. And we're going to destroy ourselves a good old ball cube. So pressing number two, let's come across to there. And get ourselves a nice view from this side. So that'd be a nice angle. In fact, let's look at it like that. So here we go, three seconds. And away it goes. That's a lot of damage. So, let's go and take a quick little look-see inside here, what's happened. Well, a lot of the armor blocks are still alive. We've gone through to the opposite side. But not as much damage as I was thinking. Ah, there we go, the Void Station. It won't fly, but I can clip it into the ground, and it should be good enough. I think I just clicked on the wrong thing there. No, I didn't. Yeah, so this should be good enough to tilt on its side and have a nice big target to blast. So there is that, getting into the cannon, and now we have to wait for you to appear. There you are. So we're going to turn this around, we're going to go straight through the middle. And then, firing. Going to look at you like so. Here we go. Such a nice firing animation. I do like how it closes up just as it fires. That must have taken quite a while to get the timing correct. Now we're just going to keep wiggling this around. Hopefully that went all the way through. And there we are. We went all the way through the Void Trade Station, straight through the middle. That is some nice work right there.
So anyway, the planetary defense system will be in the description below if you did want to play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it's got a lot of detail on it and it's jolly good fun to play around with. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.